Diana Dagbashan and you're watching the news broadcast on the state television company of Western Armenia. Today's broadcast. President Armenak Abrahamian addressing the authorities of the Republic of Armenia and Artsakh. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, expresses his condolences to the family of Vitali Maros. More than 43,000 people have returned to Artsakh. Azerbaijan delays visit of UNESCO mission to the Nagorno-Karabakh for evaluating cultural heritage. Sides of Western Armenia, the historic bridge of Dersim. The presentation of the Park Banagat video dance tutorial will take place on December 25. Two new publications of Aram Khachatrian House Museum. The President of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, sent a message to the military authorities of Armenia and Artsakh. He mentioned in a message, Days of mourning or a national tribute to the immortals. We were waiting for a national military tribute in memory of the soldiers who fell in the honor of the sacred land of Artsakh, whose graves are partially in the Yerablur Cemetery in Yerevan. We have witnessed the political march of the Armenian authorities, which doesn't reflect the military actions of the soldiers of protecting the Armenian territories and the Armenian civilian population. We, the military and freedom fighters of Western Armenia, would like to remind that it is necessary to organize a ceremony worthy of the fight against the death of our soldiers in accordance with the code of honor of our armed forces as soon as possible. The commander of the demining group of the Russian peacekeeping troops in Artsakh, Captain Vitaly Maros, who was killed during the mining in Shoshi, has served in the Russian armed forces for 12 years. The tragic incident took place on December 18. Vitaly Maros died after an explosion. He was 29 years old. President Armenak Abrahamian expresses his condolences to the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin, and the family of Maros. Captain Vitaly Maros served in the Shushi of Artsakh to protect the civilian population from the attacks of Turkish Azerbaijani terrorists occupying our sacred territory. The son of Russia, Captain Vitaly Maros, has fallen in the field of honor. The Armenian people won't forget him. This land has always belonged to Armenia. It is the land of our ancestors. Before the Soviet legislation and after that, it was never part of Azerbaijan and it will never be. Once again, we express our deep gratitude towards the peacekeeping troops. 351 people who had left their homes due to hostilities returned to Artsakh accompanied by Russian peacekeepers and military police on December 21. As Armed Press reports, the Russian Ministry of Defense informs about this. About 43,000 people have returned to Artsakh in general, the Russian Defense Ministry said in a statement. The troops of the Russian peacekeepers were deployed in Nagorno-Karabakh by the command of the President of the Russian Federation given on November 10, 2020, and according to the announcement of the leaders of Armenia, Azerbaijan and Russia to end the war. The base of the military in the 15th Motorized Rifle Brigade of the Central Military District. The commander of the peacekeepers is Lieutenant General Rustam Muradov. UNESCO is waiting for Azerbaijan's response to send a mission of independent experts in order to assess the state of cultural values in Nagorno-Karabakh, but requests to the Azerbaijani authorities have not succeeded. This is stated in a statement given by UNESCO. UNESCO recalled its obligation to protect cultural property according to the 1954 Convention for the Protection of Cultural Property in case of military hostilities. Both Armenia and Azerbaijan have agreed to the convention. The co-chairs of the Minsk Group fully supported this proposal. Since November 20, UNESCO has submitted proposals and held discussions in order to carry out this mission, which requires the consent of both parties according to the convention. UNESCO Assistant of the General Director Ernesto Otto said, only Azerbaijan's response is expected for UNESCO to send a mission to that area. We have applied to the Azerbaijani authorities several times, but the requests have not been successful. Being located in the Chemish Gezek district of Dersim, the historic Tagar Bridge attracts visitors with its natural beauty during all the seasons. Every year, many local and foreign tourists visit the province of Chemish Gezek, rich in wild nature and cultural historical beauties. Built on the Tahar River, the Tagar Bridge stands out for its unique historical structure. Gagi Ginosyan, the leader of the Galin traditional song and dance group, posted on his Facebook page about the presentation of the Park Banagats video. We are glad to inform that after a long work, the Park Banagats video tutorial prepared by the Galin Educational and Cultural Non-Governmental Organization and Jinishan Memorial Foundation is finally ready. It is the first in its kind and presumably not only in Armenian dance culture, but also in the history of the world dance. One of the pillars of upbringing an Armenian soldier was the Armenian military dance from ancient times which is able not only to harmonize the soul and the body of the soldier, but also to bring the Armenian identity out and to create a united spirit in the army. The invisible spirit that will shape the dignified future of Armenia, the Armenian historical glory. Armenian military dance must be involved in the Armenian army as soon as possible, in order to make it more invisible, more ideological and more noble. 
The presentation will take place on December 25 at 7 p.m. in Sardarabad Memorial. Admission is free, but places are limited. Please contact us in advance. P.S. The dance steps of each military dance will be presented in the book with its Kakavagir. The book of the piano notes from Aram Khachatran's Masquerade Ballet have been published. The book includes parts from Waltz, Mazurka, Romance and Gallop. The publication is dedicated to the 80th anniversary of the creation of music by Aram Khachatrian and to the drama of the same name by Lermontov. A collection of ballets Aram Khachatrian, excerpts from Guyana and Spartak have been published. The book is developed by known musician Khachatrian expert, honored artist of Latvia, public figure, doctor of arts Rafi Harajanyan, compiled by the director of Aram Khachatrian House Museum, pianist Professor Armine Grikoyan. The notebook also contains Rafi Harajanyan's triangular essay about Aram Khachatrian, which refer to the features of composers' works. Now we present you a song, Butanyai Oror. The full version of the song is available in the official page of Western Ermia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.